Good morning everyone, Val here. And this morning's breakfast is a three egg omelet with cheese, my grapefruit, and my fiber drink to go with my vitamins this morning. I didn't record yesterday. I didn't, uh, I was, didn't really have a lot that I was doing. But I did go to the women's club. They had their silent auction yesterday just for the members. Uh, it wasn't open to the public. There were a lot of really cute items there. I bid on a couple of them, but I got one. I'll show it to you when I go back into the craft room because I put it back in the craft room. But I did uh, put my football quilt, the quilt that I made with the football theme. I put that on the auction and uh, actually went for 40, I think it was like $46 or so. So I was said I was going to be happy if I got over $40 for it. It was a lap robe, a lap, you know, just something you would throw on the couch and throw over your legs if you got cold or something, or a little boy could use it. Um, it's not full bed size. It's maybe crib size, but a more of a lap robe size. So $46, I thought was good for that. I was happy because that's going to go to, uh, I guess scholarships. I think it was for scholarships um, that's going to go to the club. I don't know how much money the club raised. Um, they did have someone that painted uh, portraits of dogs. So if, I guess if you had a picture of a dog that you wanted them to paint, they would commission the paintings. And that went for like $110. I think the starting bid on that was $100. $100. So that was, I think, the highest priced item on there. I think mine may have been the second price, the second highest priced, and then everything else was lower than that. You know, there's a lot of $5, $10 things, things like that. There was a little bag that I put a bid on because I thought maybe to hold like knitting needles and knitting supplies and stuff when I traveled. Uh, and then the other item that I was bidding on oh, was some placements for the kitchen table because nobody bid on it, so I put a bid on it. I am not sure why I didn't get that item. I think the people tallying the votes at the uh, bids at the end were very confused in what they were doing. I did see the, that the placements were still sitting on the auction table, so I think they just somehow missed the slip of paper. Uh, is what it is. I'm not going to sweat it because I can make placemats, but I because nobody was bidding on it, I put a bid of $10. It was like eight placemats. I'm not going to sweat about it. So <clears throat> they were cream color, so they would have matched pretty much anything. Uh, let's see, what do I need to do? I need to get in the craft room back there and edit a video this morning. That's going to be my first step. And then it, the Temperature has gone down a little bit. So I actually was 55 degrees right now, uh, which is cool. The mornings are getting cool. It's going to go up to like 76 according to my phone today. So I think I'm going to edit a couple of videos and then head out to the porch, maybe sit on the porch a little while, maybe make some coffee, take some coffee out there, take my Bible out there, do some on my Bible study, enjoy some of the cooler weather uh, before it gets warm again this afternoon, and then uh, go in my craft room and work in my craft room this afternoon. Not a whole lot planned for today. There's some things I need to do. I need to get over to the uh, nursery and pick up some more dirt for my flower garden because I do want to plant some flowers coming up very shortly. I have the hostas from my sister's house and I have the flowers from my mother-in-law's house that I'd like to get planted and I need a few more bags of dirt in that uh, flower garden out front. And then I have a list of things. I have a list of things I need to do. Um, but it seems like every time I, I have a list of things I need to do, there's always something that pops up that I need to get done and I didn't don't get to my list. I keep telling myself I'm not going to sweat it. I'm going to do what I can do and that's all I'm going to do and I'm not going to sweat every trying to get everything on my list completed in a certain amount of time. I'm just not going to put that kind of stress on myself. So uh, 
that's just uh, that's just how I'm gonna I'm gonna go for now. So um, my my main things for today I think will be um, getting some Bible study done, getting some videos edited, and uh, and working in the craft room. I'm cutting out teddy bears, those little teddy bears that I make that you tie the hands for the babies. I think I'm going to do eight of those. I got eight cut out. I need to cut out the uh, colorful part, the centers. I got the fur cut out. I think I'm going to make eight for the babies down in Columbia that we're going to assist the mothers at the one home. The other home, the children are a little bit older, so I haven't got a thought for that one yet because I only have limited space in my suitcase. And I'm doing the burpee bibs for the babies. Um... I know we're putting together as a group packages for the other children that will be coming to the clinic. Um, and this is in uh, South America and Colombia when we go in October. I did order, I think about 40 stickers or something. They're like stickers that you can make pictures with. Um, like the sticker is a face and then there's pieces of the face you add to it. Um, I'm going to see what they are like because it was like $11 for 40 stickers. So I'm going to see what they look like before I order any more. I don't want to spend a lot of money and then they're not what I think they are. Um, they used to have those things that you could reuse. You stuck these things on them. I forget what they were called and then you could take it off and position it somewhere else. I'm hoping there's something like that but I don't think they're going to be. But that would be cool. Something like that the kids would like. But we're try trying to find little things that the kids would like that we can put in little goodie bags and give to, I think there's going to be like about 200 children they're thinking will come to the clinic. So um, I'm just trying to see what I have for that. I know I have some pencils that I can donate. Uh, so that's really in the, the front of what I'm doing is those things for Columbia because the trip is going to be about a month and a half or so away and it's going to come up fast and, uh, and a few other little projects that I'd like to get done before the fall and then in the fall and in the, the uh, winter get to my painting projects. I guess I'll have to put those into my winter plans or my fall plans after I get back from uh, South America. So let me eat my breakfast. We're going to go in the back, edit some videos. I will show you what I got from the auction yesterday and uh, see what else I can get done today. I am getting ready to edit a couple of videos. I had to kind of turn the camera sideways because there's a really bright light coming in from outside. The sun is shining and it's coming through the front door window and I couldn't block it so uh, I'm gonna kind of record crooked here. <clears throat> this is what I got from the auction. This is a Minnie Mouse pack. Um, I'll show you what's in it. I have this is a little hair bow for a little girl. I don't know that this is Probably my daughter and my granddaughter, Adeline, she's a little bit too old for this. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this yet. But uh, that's the only thing in the basket I really wasn't excited about. They have uh, socks. So there's uh, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pairs of socks in here. That's a lot of socks. Oh, it says 10 pairs. 10 pairs of socks. Those are nice. They're little ankle socks, but those are nice. The next item in the basket is oven mitts. And there's two oven mitts in there, which are nice. I really don't use oven mitts. So that I can use for a Christmas gift if I want to. There's one item I really wanted in this basket, and it was the apron. And uh, I need a, a second apron in the house, and they had an apron in there. I only paid $25 for this basket. So I figure for Minnie Mouse, $25 isn't bad. 
and it's all going to charity anyway so it really doesn't matter there were two dish towels i can always use new dish towels in my kitchen so there's two brand new dish towels here and that is super cute don't you think so definitely the apron and the dish towels i wanted um the basket i can always use back here and then there were two pot holders and these pot holders are cute they have a little pouch on the front not sure well i guess your hand goes in that i'm not sure and that it has a little thing to clip onto your stove or wherever you want to put it but uh the pot holders i like though i like the pot holders nice and thick i like the apron and i like the kitchen towel and the socks i can use the socks so if you figure just for those four items it's worth the 25 dollars I have two bonus items, which is the mitts and the little hair bow, which I'll find something to do with that. This is a really nice hair bow, by the way. A little heart there in the middle. But uh, I just don't know. I'd have to find somebody who is uh, totally loving Mickey Mouse and uh, or Minnie Mouse and give them that little hair bow. So maybe take it down to... Uh, to Columbia with me and find a little girl we'll see I haven't got it all figured out yet but I know I love my apron and I will get a lot of use out of that because uh, I'm doing a lot more uh, baking now and I'm a messy messy cook so I will definitely be using this apron that's what I got from the auction it never goes back in the basket the way it was <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to edit a couple of videos and I'm going to catch up with you in a little bit. This is what my craft room looks like right now. It's a it's a mess back here. Got these items to donate on the table. I got this fur going on because I was cutting out teddy bears yesterday. Got my keyboard ready to do my editing. And these are the colors of the teddy bears that I picked out. I've got the the uh, kind of fuchsia colored. I got two of those. I got three of the baby blues and three white teddy bears cut out. I just need to cut out the front of them and I think these are the fabrics I'm going to be using. The, the uh, Easter egg, the um, turtles, the white for maybe one of the white ones. That's pretty. I got some baby bears. I got this baby blocks. I got this. It's a little bit larger of a print, but I think it'll work. So those are some of the baby fronts, the fronts of the babies that I'm going to be doing. And uh, this is, that one is what the teddy bears is going to look like. I've edited two videos. The second one is uploading now onto YouTube. I'm come outside. It's actually warmer outside than it is in the house because it's like 71 degrees on the thermostat in the house. Um, I have it set on 75 uh, for the for the summer, but it feels cold in there, and it actually feels warmer outside because the sun is showing a little bit out here. So I'm going to sit outside and do my Bible study while the second video is uploading in there. Maybe sit out here for an hour or so. I can't believe how cold it's getting outside now. I mean, it's nice. It's a comfortable a comfortable temperature, but, you know, it's it's been in the, you know, 90s and 100s here in, in Virginia. So now to have it in the 70s, it just feels cold. But I'm loving it. I'm loving the cooler cooler temperatures. I don't like the, the hot heat and humidity. Not humid today. Doesn't feel humid at all. Uh, so I'm going to sit down and enjoy it. I'm going to turn you around and show you what it looks like out here. While I'm sitting out here, I have a playlist playing on my computer in the back while my uh, my video is uploading 
I am going to bless somebody from time to time by playing their playlists. If you're monetized or you need some some view hours so you can get monetized, let me know. And uh, if I leave the house in the morning for an hour or two, I will let a playlist run. Whoever's playlist I choose for the day. Today I'm choosing Over 50 and Femtabulous because she's a wonderful supporter of my channel. And uh, she does this. And she, she tells everybody to do this to support each other. Of course you want to keep the sound on so that uh, it registers with YouTube that you are watching. But uh, it's a wonderful way to, to bless somebody. Look at the clouds. How pretty are they? The sun is peeking out over there just a little bit through the clouds, but there is a cloud cover. Anyway, I'm going to get to studying, doing reading, some Bible reading this morning. I, got, I don't have coffee. I uh, am too lazy to make it, but I have my water. So I'm going to drink that. Got my Bible and my Bible study book and my paper to make my notes. And this one is I used to mark my scriptures that I want to refer back to. So, and I have a pen somewhere. So I guess I'm all ready. My Bible studies are Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. if you want to join me on the live stream. I will see you there. I'm finished in the craft room for today. I'm working on the teddy bears. This is the, the pattern. This is the teddy bear that I do. I had all of the back, the fur part cut yesterday. And I cut the fronts for all of them today. So there's eight of them. Each one has a different color, a different pattern for the front. So those, those are done. I've interfaced my heads, front and back. They, they are interfaced. So that's all ready. Tomorrow all I need to do is start sewing them. So that'll be my project for tomorrow. And then i got to pick up my all my fur and stuff. I'm going to go into the kitchen and start dinner. I'm going to do spaghetti and meat sauce. Uh, if I sit here any longer, I'm going to fall asleep. My one, uh, one of my sisters is on the portal with my mom. I'm going to switch them to the portal in the kitchen, and uh, we're going to get some work in the kitchen done so I can stay awake. Uh, Steve's on his way home. He should be home about half an hour or so. So let's go make some spaghetti and meat sauce. <laughs> Tonight's dinner is... Spaghetti and homemade meat sauce, we've decided we don't want salads. We're just going to eat simple. We're both tired. We're going to call it a night. Steve's home. He's making coffee to try to keep himself awake. I might need coffee. Keep my heart going. Is that what it is? All right. Thank you all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye now. And remember, it's all about the adventure. See you on tomorrow's video. Bye.